Hi there. Let's chat about dragging a GPX file from a GPS receiver onto ArcGIS Online. What does that mean? Basically, the output from any standard GPS receiver can be dragged and dropped onto ArcGIS Online for an instant map that you can analyze spatially. Why would we want to do that, and how can we do that? Let's chat about that. Okay, let's drag a file that is in a GPX format. I've searched my computer and I've got one here called lunch040809.gpx. This is a lunchtime route that a motorcycle riding colleague of mine took from our ESRI office here in Broomfield, Colorado. I'm going to drag that file to ArcGIS Online. So in ArcGIS Online, I'm going to start a new map. Okay, there's a map. Let's go back to my file. Here's my GPX file. See how I'm just going to drag it to my map? I let go, and instantly I've got the route, the track, basically, from my office to the mountains, which is where my colleague took his motorcycle ride. Let's investigate that a bit further. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the starting point see what the accuracy is. I can see some nice content here. This content is the community base map from ArcGIS Online that's becoming ever more rich with each passing day. As you can see here, this is really quite excellent. Look at the accuracy of that GPS track. My colleague started right here, drove around the parking lot and out this street. You can even see his return route. Look out this way and back this way. This is a divided street. That is just great. I'm very happy with that. Zooming out a bit, I can see that my colleague stopped right here and then went back over this way. I'm kind of curious to see what's over there. Let's go ahead and change the base map. I've got a whole wide variety of things. Let's change it to a Bing, a Bing Maps aerial. There's some sort of store in here. There's also a gas station right here. Looks like my colleague stopped right there before resuming his route. I'm going to change it back to, this time, a topographic map. Let's zoom out and see what we've got. Excellent. Looks like he went out through Boulder and up into the mountains for a nice circle route. Let's go ahead and symbolize this map now based on some attributes. We can do that inside ArcGIS Online as well. I've got two layers here. One is my USA Topo Maps layer, which is the base map, of course, and the other layer is my GPS route. If I click on that GPS route, I get an expansion here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the active log. I'm going to change symbols. Right now it's a line. That's fine, but I want to change it. Maybe I want it yellow. Great, now it's yellow. Now let's go ahead and change the symbology for the active log. Right now it's this square, darkish symbol. Instead of a single symbol though, let's go ahead and make it, how about by color? I've got fields in here. This is a GIS. It started off as a GPX file, but once I've dragged it into ArcGIS Online, it acts like a GIS file, which is great. Ooh, I've got an elevation here. I could symbolize these points based on elevation. I like those colors, except that the default low elevation is white. So I might want to change that. That's easy to do. I'm going to make it yellow. Great. Now say done. Now apply and done. Wow, excellent. I can see right away, let's go ahead and take a look, a look at the map legend here, that I've got some elevations. These are in meters. Let's take a look first down by the office here. It's in the lowest of elevations. We're out on the high plains. And as my colleague went up this ridge, actually it's Davidson Mesa, as you can see here, the elevations increased, went down into Boulder, into the Boulder Valley, 
and then went up this ridge and it looks like the highest elevations were right up in here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Poorman Hill. All right. And descending back into Boulder. Looks like he made another stop over here. Interesting. Let's change that base map. Okay. Maybe he knew someone there that he was visiting. Okay, let's change the base map. Well, let's leave it let's leave it alone. I kind of like that base map for the time being. I'm going to zoom back out now. I can really see my colors quite well, can't I? So, with just a few clicks, I've created a file out on ArcGIS Online. I can save that file. I can share that file so that you or anybody else could look at it. And I remember, I started with a GPX file. I dragged it into ArcGIS Online, and then I symbolized it based on an attribute. Now, I want you to think about other kinds of data that you could easily do this with could be pH values and streams that you or your students collect. It could be historical dates of houses that you look at. It could be tree height and tree species. It could be a whole wide variety of things. As you can see, this is really quite easy to do and quite powerful. Hi there. Let's chat about dragging... <laughs> cut. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. There's always editing.